across the whole two minutes. Rowley did the more work, landed the more shots, combination work. But there were key points in there, three superb body shots from Robinson. Now, I think Scott Rowley edged that round because of the extra work rate and really going for the round, as they say. Whereas I think Robinson, again, got on his bike, countered nicely, but not so often now. And this time, as I said, he got through with three clean, telling body shots, but I don't think they were enough to actually take the round. It's just my personal opinion. This is very, very tight. So five of ten. And for me it's all about the conditioning of Rowley because he got through again with some good head shots. But Robinson is targeting the body. And it's an obvious tactic. But will it pay dividends as the rounds go on? Because Rowley is landing cleanly upstairs and getting through some good shots of his own. But will those body shots of Robinson take their toll over what is a ten round fight, remember? Livening up here in the fifth again. Rowley throwing the combinations again. He's letting Leather go, which I think is the right tactic. And wary now of the body shots of Robinson. Both men exchanging kicks now. There was no doubt about the kicks in any of these rounds so far. Rowley's got to be careful of that side kick when Robinson counters. And again, vicious left hand to the body from Robinson. Good combination work this time, though, from Rowley again. That's where, for me, he catches the eye as he's letting the punches go in bunches, little clusters. Robinson, as I said, good, strong shots, but they tend to be singles. Will that be telling? Again, happy to fight on the counter. He's a back foot fighter and solid foot. But again, little shots like that from Rowley do catch the eye. And this is what Robinson's got to be careful of. Because I think here, Rowley is stealing the rounds. And I think he's stolen that one. Robinson does clean work. He does hard work. He does good work with the body. But Rowley is forcing the issue. He's forcing the pace. And I feel, in that respect, he stole that round again. So we're just over halfway now, sixth round coming up, and Rowley, I think, has got the last two through work rate alone. He's getting caught back, but he's, he's throwing threes and fours, whereas Robinson is throwing single shots, and it could be telling. There might be a, a couple more stings in the tail yet, because Robinson is so talented. I just feel there's a lot more in the tank there, and I'm wondering if he's just playing the waiting game, and you'll see him explode, because you know he's capable of it, but at the moment... I think those last two rounds, as close as they were, he just lost them. So, round six. And I think there's a lot of mileage left in this one. And again, Rowley gets through with that jab. And again, good shots here from Rowley. Best opening to the round so far from the Bulldog fighter. How will Robinson respond? It'll be sweet revenge indeed if he does after a first round stoppage in the last encounter. And he's doing the right thing here, forcing the issue. And again, lands with the right. He gets through. Again, good right to the left to the body from Robinson. But it's Rowley that's getting through with the more shots. Oh, and a beautiful right hand from Rowley. Oh, and a left, and Robinson is all over the place from Rowley there. He's out. He doesn't know where he is. This is over. He hasn't got a clue where he is. He's looking at his corner. He's out. It's all over. What an emphatic stoppage from Scott Rowley, and what a way to avenge a defeat. Superb work. Yeah.
Stuart, for our sponsors to the ring, please. Stuart, for our sponsors to the ring. Welterweight champion Scott Rowling! 